Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're setting up the Note 9. So if you haven't seen my video on the unboxing, I'll leave a link in the top right. But today we're going to go ahead and set it up. So I'll run you through how to do it. So you can see, booted up, it is selected English United Kingdom. So go ahead and press start. And then go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. So I'll go ahead and type in my password. And you can see it's going ahead to connect to the Wi-Fi. You can see that it did pop up with the option to enter the SIM, uh, put in the SIM, sorry, uh, in order to get network connection. But we'll go ahead and skip that. Then we'll go ahead and agree to just the end user license agreement. You don't have to agree to the other things if you don't want to. Go ahead and press next. Then it's going to go ahead and check for updates. Um, obviously, it should be running the latest software. Um, and you can see there was no updates there. Then you can go ahead and sign into Google if you want in order to get all your services, uh, get your contacts, photos, uh, apps, all of that in order to download. We'll go ahead and skip that for now. And you can see there, download apps, music, backup. Um, also get things like uh, tracking your device if you lose it. But that is also offered by Samsung itself. We'll go ahead and skip. And then go ahead and enter a name. So we'll go ahead and enter Jack. Hit next. Then you have a few options for security. So you have Intelligent Scan, which combines the iris scanner along with a face scanner. You then have face recognition, which is just using the camera. So not actually secure. You won't be able to use it for payments. Uh, the iris scanner uses the iris scanner up here to scan your eyes. And that is used for payments along with the fingerprint scanner, which is obviously been moved down from the top here just below the camera module then you have the pin pattern password or you can set up nothing if you want we'll go ahead and set up the fingerprint scanner hit next and you can see that you need to add at least one fingerprint and then you also need a pattern pin or password so we'll go ahead and enter a pin do not require when power on just do 111 okay 1111 And then you can see here, it's showing you how to do it, but we'll go ahead, flip it over, you just place your finger on the fingerprint scanner. And it wants you to swipe down slowly over the fingerprint scanner. So slightly different from past years where you place it on, you actually swipe it down, kind of like the original fingerprint scanner you had on the S5. So you can see it's done, you can have uh, another one added if you want, but we'll just leave that one fingerprint there. And go ahead. Place it on. Great job, fingerprint done. So go ahead, hit next. Then you have all the Google services. So uh, location, we'll leave that on. Use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to improve it. Yes. Uh, send system data, we'll leave that on. Updates. So hit agree to that. And then it's just running through the finishing touches. So this is the midnight blue. So you can get a look there. It is blue along with the gold S Pen which is actually kind of yellow in appearance with just the gold end here. So I'm not sure if I like that too much, but we'll go ahead and review it in the future. Then you can see the Samsung account. You can go ahead and sign in if you want. You get Bixby, famous Bixby, uh, Samsung Pass, Samsung Health, profile sharing, all of this stuff, Samsung Pay. Samsung Pay is quite useful. Um, unfortunately, in the UK, it doesn't support uh, MST transactions just NFC, so a bit annoying there. Go ahead and skip that. Then you have the option to restore. So in the box, it came with a Type C to Type A USB adapter. So you can go ahead and transfer all your things from your old device, but we're not going to do that today. Hit next. Then we have extend battery life, uh, secure stuff, so you can hide stuff on your phone and sign in with your iris scanner or your fingerprint scanner. And then it has the font size set to medium and screen size, screen zoom, sorry, set to small. But we'll go ahead, hit finish, and it's all done, and it should launch us into the phone. So there you go. That is how you set up the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. If you have any questions, do ask down below, and I'll try and get back to you there. You can see it's popping up with notifications. So thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, post them down below. If you found it useful, do please give this video a like and subscribe down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.